Okay, let's get you set up with Goutco then. So if you're not familiar with Goutco, it was an arcade manufacturer which ran between the early 1990s up until around 2005. And there were some really good games during that time from the uh, publisher of Goutco, that is. So before I start this setup, Guy, just make sure to hit notifications and follow me on different social media platforms. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So first things first, uh, head over to BackGUI, which I always recommend so you don't get a little bit stuck wondering why your games aren't turning up on RetroBat. So once you're into the BackGUI, you go into System List. And from here, if you just scroll down to Gelco, which is located under Systems, you'll find dot zip is the only file extension for this system so that's very straightforward and easy going so i've got just here on my desktop a copy of atv track dot zip and dot zip is of course what bat gui is saying that we need so if we go into the retro bat directory so right click on the shortcut open file location and if we go to roms and if we just scroll down until we find the Gelco folder so let's just drag our game in here. If you've got several games, then obviously just drag everything in .zip format into that folder. So once that's in place, we're just going to open up RetroBat. And here we go. So we've got Gelco just there, and we've got our game inside. So let's just see if I can get some cover art for this. So start on my PS3 controller, Scraper, and Scrape Now. And go back into the main menu, game settings, and update game lists. And there we go. We've now got video preview as well as artwork for this. So let's actually get this up and running. So if we go back into Gelco and open up the game. And it's going to ask us if we want to install Demu Alt, and that's the emulator to use for this. So it's essentially a bit like a Sega Dreamcast emulator, but for Gelco games. So if we just go back out of there, we can either install it through here, or if we just navigate over to the RetroBat icon and scroll down, we're going to find Demio Alt just here. And in brackets, we've got Gelco. Let's just open this up and let's just install this. So yes to install, let install. And there we go. So we've now got the emulator up and running and it's come up into a little window. So we've got some configurations to do for this. So if we just go into config and video, so by default, this is already set to start in full screen and Windows resolution is entirely up to you. I'm going to put mine to 1080. Now, we've also got internal resolution and of course, that's going to boost up your graphics on your game. But just be aware that if you've got a lower end PC, that it might struggle and you might even suffer some lag. By default, this is on four times. It's going to go up to six times, but just remember, the higher you go up, the more likely it's going to lag. So just be aware of that. So let's just OK from here. And we're also going to go back to config to configure the controller. So just go down to controls. And like I was saying a minute ago, it's pretty much an emulator set up for Sega Dreamcast, but it's only running a Galco game. So let's just go into Joy 1. And from here, I'm going to now configure my controller. So analog is going to be on up. I'm going to press left on my analog stick, up, and down on my left analog stick, left, and right on my analog stick, And so on until you've finally got all of these buttons corresponding with your controller, whatever your controller it is you're going to be using for this. And if you get any problems with your controller not working, just simply exit out of RetroBat altogether. And what we're going to do is go into RetroBat directory. So right click on the shortcut, open file location emulators folder and from here if we just go down to demo alt your emulator is located here and if we open this up without a game being loaded let's go back to the config tab and back down to controls this time if we go to the arcades tab and press joy one we can set up this configuration again so let's go and set this up
So what I do for the coin option is you select on my PS3 controller and for service, I just press start. And your push buttons are pretty much your X square circle triangle buttons if you're using a PS3 controller. And for start, I'm gonna just press my L1 button on my controller. So OK this and OK and close this down. And let's go back into RetroBat. So back into the Galco folder and we're going to see if this PS3 controller is now configured. So I'm using select on my controller to insert credits. Competition. If you press F6 on your keyboard, Five. if you get that smaller ratio, that's going to bring out the stretch image for us. All right. And there we go, this is a great game, it kind of reminds me of Wave Race a little bit. So let's just exit out of this. So that's it from my Galco and Retrobat setup guide. Like I said at the beginning of my video, I'm on different social media platforms. Hit notifications and be sure to check out my playlist, jam-packed of Retrobat setup guys. But until next time, stay retro!